Hey guys, in this video I'm going to talk about the pros and the cons of being a park host. I can honestly say there's not very many cons about being a park host. So what I'm going to do first is talk about the pros. I've listed out about 10 of the, I guess, my favorite things about being a park host. Probably the number one is location. I'm not actually, right now I'm actually in the Lincoln National Forest and just enjoying the, the trees and the nature, but the location has a lot to do with a positive aspect of being a park host. Number one, it's living in the area for a, an extended period of time. So like right now we're in, uh, at this, right now at this Park Coast job, we will be here for four months. So you actually live in the community, you become part of the community and you learn about the ways of the community. You visit their grocery stores, you visit their laundromats, you visit their restaurants, and you get to know the people, and that that's a really neat thing to do. The second one is the history of the location. So where we are currently right now, there's so much history, and just getting involved and learning the history so I can pass it on to people that come to the park. Um, I try to have everyone or tell everyone that um, that does come into the park about Fort Stanton and about Lincoln and the Lincoln County Wars and um, the history, just learning it and learning about, like right now, learning about Billy the Kid and all that in the town history, the park history some of the parks that you go into, you know, were built in the 30s or, you know, some of the parks are built by the CCC and you learn about that history. So, uh, learning about the history of the location is really fascinating. Number three is the people, the people that I get to meet, the patrons that come into the park and you get to learn their stories. Um, where they're from, you know, some are, I had some from England and they were rented a U-Haul and they're traveling around the United States. So, um, sorry about the dogs. There's a dog barking over there. Um, this is a day use area close to Redoso and it's really nice place. Let's see if the dog quits barking. I love to hear their, the people's story and getting to just visit with them. Some we've, you know, visit just a short period of time and then others, you know, um, I spend time, quite a bit of time with them and, you know, we may share a meal together. So it's been really fun getting to meet the people. That's another one of my favorite aspects about, about being a park host. Number five is the work itself. The work is satisfying. No, I think that's thunder. Yeah, and we may get some rain here in a minute. Making a park or trying to make a park better, uh, beautifying a park, um, just leaving the park better than when you came there. I always try to do that. And to me, that's a, that's a pro. And just the work excel, itself. Um, when I'm mowing or weed eating or just working on a trail, anything, chopping limbs off the tree, whatever it is, I always say that the park or the work that I'm doing, that's my gym. You know, that's how I am, get my exercise, you know, not just hiking, but also doing the work of the park. And the big one to me is just being outdoors, just loving being with nature when you live out away from town in these parks you actually become you know 
the wildlife is your yard and you become a part of that and and you try to not disturb it and um but seeing the deer early in the mornings or late in the evenings the snakes that i've seen and trying to figure out what kind they are just being with the wildlife and the birds and trying to to learn what what birds i do see uh, what flowers I see, what cactus I see, trying to learn their names and just trying to become more aware of, of the outdoors itself, just the nature. You can't beat waking up and looking at the sun appear over the mountains or over the lake. Um, it, it's just something that is, I just, is, I just love. I can't say any more than <laughs> how much I love it and number seven is the peace the peace of being out in the middle of nowhere that is it is just it's just solitude it's just the peacefulness of the birds and the mountain air as I hear right now the wind blowing through the trees, these pine trees. I don't know if you can hear it, but that is something that you can't replicate. You know, listening to the water, the streams, the birds, the hummingbirds especially, and fish jumping. They're, each one of those sounds has such a peacefulness and a solitude. Number eight. Number eight is knowing that being a park host in this park or in, in a park is temporary. That you're going to be moving on. And that, that's a thrill in itself to know that. I mean, there's a sadness at times, but there's also the thrill of knowing I'm going to my next adventure. So it, it's that's a pro in itself that you get to know that you're only here temporarily and then you're headed to down the road to something new or something you're familiar with that you want to return to. But it is something that is just just an excitement in itself. Not sure if I've lost count, but I guess the one of the number one reasons is the benefit of having an RV spot provided for you. Um, most times you have the RV pad with water, electric, and septic, and you know that's that is bills I don't have to pay for. I mean that is such a such a benefit so now I'm going to talk about the cons and I said previously that there's not very many and it, the obvious is you know having to clean bathrooms you know it can be <laughs> not very pleasurable at times and we won't go into that but that would probably be the number one con but you could also take the pros that I'd already listed they could become cons um, location. Take location, for example. If you are a host at a particular park and it could be, uh, not be a very good thing if you didn't choose the right environment for you due to heat or due to cold or due to humidity. You know, I can do a lot of humidity. so. You know, that could be a con of, of picking a park that, um, or a location, just due to weather. So you have to be careful in choosing um, the opportunities. Also, another con could be the patrons, the patrons that you deal with. Nine times out of ten, everyone is very kind, and everyone is, you know, it's a joy to be around them. But... There has been times that 
patrons have complaints and you have to deal with their complaints and I've had patrons that have complained about other patrons so I've had campers that you know whether somebody's loud or somebody's horse is loud or something but they come to me and complain that that their neighbor is causing them distress so you know sometimes you have to play the mediator so there's not very many drawbacks to being at Park Coast. If anything, every bit of it is rewarding in its own way and you have to look for the positive and everything. So I'm going to wrap up this video and I did write an article about this, maybe a little bit more detail on my website at frugalrvgal.com. You can go over there and check out that article. It will be posted on, uh, on my website. Thank you.